the difficulty is getting people to believe something that they don't want to believe. And in each of these cases, this is where the money is. We're learning that the former talk show host has been diagnosed with a form of dementia. For me, watching the documentary, I felt the same way. I felt like, you know, everybody in this documentary is exploiting her. The thing is, Wendy Williams has been sort of MIA after her show was canceled. Well, just after two years, Reports have been circulating that Cat Williams hinted at Wendy's upcoming predicament just a few days prior. Cats allege that celebs who are trying to deviate from the elitist agenda are handled in a way that destroys their reputation. Given the severity of his revelations, the rumors in the industry are going wild. Let's delve into this whole Wendy fiasco unfolding right before our eyes. Okay, so, Wendy became part of the mainstream conversation when a documentary about her made its way to the television. Now the documentary that was titled, Where is Wendy Williams, asked some major questions regarding Wendy's deteriorating image. Although this was initially regarded as the truth-telling documentary, fans believed that it was only unveiling the sinister face of Hollywood. I think she's losing memory. Have you guys noticed that? How dare him? I control men. I weigh 138. Fans noted that this talk was aimed at proving Wendy Williams as an incapacitated person and nothing more. The word on the street is that since Wendy has had a great impact on the community in general, the higher-ups are trying to discredit all of her recent claims. Charlemagne the God also gave his two cents on the issue, claiming that everyone involved in the production of the doc was essentially trying to milk every drop of Wendy's money, while trying to omit Wendy's presence from the media. For me. Watching the documentary, I felt the same way. I felt like, you know, everybody in this documentary is exploiting her because and it, it surprised me to see that her son was an executive producer because mm -hmm. there's no way I would want my mother to be no. seen Ever. in that light. The belief was further solidified by the statement given by the producer Mark Ford. He said, at a certain point, we are more worried about what would happen if we stopped filming than if we continued. It looks like there was indeed foreign pressure to make this documentary. Cat also joined the conversation when he revealed a few days prior that Wendy might be on a spiral because higher-ups allegedly want to get rid of her perceptive image, and we can see truly how devastating an effect this documentary had on her image. Cat William recently made an appearance on the Joe Rogan Experience podcast, where the duo engaged in a wide-ranging conversation. During the podcast, Williams delved into Hollywood's alleged hidden agenda, accusing the industry of serving as a propaganda arm for the government. He claimed that despite what the majority of people think, Hollywood's just a tool for the higher-ups to manipulate the perception of certain things, which could ultimately help in their favor. He said, Hollywood is not really there to entertain you. Like, that's great if that happens, but propaganda is important to all civilizations. It makes sense, as we have all known that Wendy has been speaking up about Hollywood secrets ever since her radio days. The difficulty is getting people to believe something that they don't want to believe. And in each of these cases, this is where the money is. Anyway, when the rumors about Wendy being incapacitated started going around after she acted out on one of her talk show episodes, she tried to defend herself against the claims. Me saying I'm not perfect, I've done that for almost all 30 years of my broadcast career, you know, she noted that there are always people looking to pick and poke, and that was before social media. And all of a sudden, social media came up and people got together and they want to think what they think. Little did she know that this was just the beginning of her downfall. Talking about the documentary, there was so much more drama behind the scenes that many of you are blissfully unaware of. You see, Wendy's court-appointed legal guardian was vehemently against this documentary, so much that they sued the Lifetime Productions. Deadline reported, a guardian for the talk show host sought a temporary restraining order to block A&E Network's own Lifetime from airing the project. Appellate Justice Peter Moulton wrote that a temporary restraining order would be an impermissible prior restraint on speech that violates the First Amendment of the Constitution. His decision vacated an order to sign ex parte. A spokesperson for Lifetime said, Lifetime appeared in court today and the documentary Where is Wendy Williams will air this weekend as planned. Fans believe that it was also suspicious that Lifetime started to film the documentary right after she was forced into a conservatorship. The Lifetime admitted that they were granted access to film with her and her family for nearly two years, but what was captured was not what anyone expected. Now, how would a person who was in a conservatorship would want to be filmed by a shooting crew when they are down and hurt? It doesn't make any sense, right? Apart from that, it's been revealed that Wendy Williams was diagnosed with primary progressive aphasia and frontotemporal dementia. 
If you think about it, it's unlikely that Wendy would want to publicly disclose her medical history right before the release of her documentary. Fans believe that these steps are a carefully planned propaganda against Wendy. The news was shared in an official statement provided by the decorated broadcaster and personalities care. The statement read, Aphasia, a condition affecting language and communication abilities, and frontotemporal dementia, a progressive disorder impacting behavior and cognitive functions, have already presented significant hurdles in Wendy's life. Wendy could not have received confirmation of these diagnoses were it not for the diligence of her current care team, who she chose, and the extraordinary work of the specialists at Wheel Cornell Medicine. Receiving a diagnosis has enabled Wendy to receive the medical care she requires. To make matters worse, Wendy's so-called team claimed that they wanted to relieve Wendy of being stigmatized due to her disease, which is quite strange, as Bruce Willis has also been suffering from the same disease and no one has ever shamed him of his legacy. Unfortunately, many individuals diagnosed with aphasia and frontotemporal dementia face stigma and misunderstanding, particularly when they begin to exhibit behavioral changes but have not yet received a diagnosis. There is hope that early detection and far more empathy, the stigma associated with dementia can be eliminated, and those affected will receive the understanding, support, and care they deserve and need. Now, get this. After the whole disease fiasco, Wendy was caught by paparazzi while she was shopping. The interesting thing is that Wendy was alone without her team, and she expressed her desire to be on the television once again. The radio veteran said, I'm shopping for kitty litter because I have a wax museum in Paris and one in California. I'm going for a week in Paris and then three weeks in California and then immediately going to fly back. And I, then I want to be on TV. Stuff like Seth Meyers, Joy Behar, Whoopi Goldberg, The View, stuff like that. I am formerly retired. After months of rumors and speculation, Wendy Williams finally broke her silence about her health and legal battle with Wells Fargo in an exclusive interview with ABC News' TJ Holmes. Williams said she's ready to return to work after missing season 14 of her highly successful talk show. Give me about three months. There are private things that I have to deal with and I'll be ready to come back and be free and ready to do my thing. Holmes later revealed that the things Williams was talking about are not health related. Williams also claimed that her doctors said she has the mind and body of a 25 year old. Williams cleverly used the interview to blast Wells Fargo Bank. Previously, it was revealed that the bank reportedly froze Williams' bank accounts, stating the queen of all media is of unsound mind, without concrete evidence. The bank claimed that she was the victim of undue influence and financial exploitation, resulting in her inability to pay her bills and staff. However, Wendy clapped back by saying, They say that I need somebody to handle my account, and I don't want the, I want all of my money. I want to see all my money that I've worked hard for in my entire life. My entire life. I don't lie, I don't cheat, and I don't steal. I'm an honest, hard-working person. Wendy explained that she thought the bank believed she was not of sound mind because she wanted to prioritize her family. William said, I want to spend more time with my family and, you know, working out and waiting for the responses to my money situation in Wells Fargo. And they don't like that. I've worked hard every single day, even on days when, you know, I might have had a little cold. If I was sick because, you know, my back or, you know, when I got lymphedema and stuff like that, I would still do my show. But quickly, not long time, very quickly, it went bad regarding this money thing. That's it for today. See you in the next one. Goodbye.